please subscribe to the channel and help us reach 500 subscribers by the end of this month. We'll continue to provide you great videos. Found out my 29 female husband, 31 male, attempted to invite an escort over while I was out of town with our three-month-old son. We've been married for a year. I got pregnant almost immediately after marriage. We did have our ups and downs during the past year, and he does have a history of having a short temper, but overall, he is a good husband and a good father, and we had an overall good marriage. Yes, sometimes he did make me feel shitty during pregnancy and postpartum because of his temper. But I always overlooked it and we always made up. Anyways, I went to visit my family with our three-month-old baby in a different state. I was gone for a little over a week. After coming back, I recently went through his phone and found a screenshot where he had booked an appointment with a woman to come over at 10 p.m. The language was clear that this was some type of escort service. I woke him up and asked him. At first, he just said he had booked a regular massage. But, after much extraction, he finally admitted that he knew she was an escort and wanted a massage with a happy ending. He made the payment. However, he said that when she arrived outside, he suddenly felt bad and cancelled last minute, and she never came. I decided to test that same number from the screenshot. I figured out on my own that the entire thing is a scam. It's just a group of people who act like they are an escort service to get people's money. They send you a picture of a girl too. When I confronted my husband about this, he then says that when she arrived outside, they asked for more money, and then he felt bad and cancelled. I know and believe that no one came to the apartment. But I'm so shattered and hurt. I trusted him 100%. I never thought he would do something like this. He's a family man. If this whole thing wasn't a fake and it was an actual real escort service, then she would have come and he would have messed around with her. He says that he is ashamed and is willing to do anything I want to make this work. I just don't know what to do. He also seduced me and we need up getting intimate and id. I feel like I should have controlled myself because he doesn't deserve my body. Ig what to do or fee? Share your suggestion in the comments below. My 23 female best friend, 23 female, has gone insane since I met someone. For context, we've always been extremely close to the point where we are frequently mistaken as a couple. We live together and spend most of our free time together too. She is bisexual, but has always insisted she isn't attracted to me, and until very recently I have always thought I was asexual or something. About two months ago I met my now boyfriend. I don't know what came over me, but for the first time in my life, I found someone else attractive, and it was like I went feral. I spent the night with him and then the next two weeks after that too, he even bought me new clothes so I wouldn't have to go home. I text my friend the first night so she knew I was okay, but I was busy so communication was a bit spotty after that. When I did eventually get home, she lost it on me. She tried to frame it as concern at first, but when I said that I was in regular contact with her, and that I'm an adult, she started attacking me instead, and implied that my behavior was weird and unstable. We have literally never fought in any capacity before, so this came as a shock. I assumed she'd had a bad day and tried to let it go, but since then she hasn't stopped. She's been constantly taking jabs at me, taking jabs at my BF, doing things to annoy me intentionally, making up rules for me that are completely inappropriate, I have to spend twice as much time with her as I do with him. If I get pregnant, I have to have an abortion. I can't spend nights or weekends at his. I can't move in with him for two years. I can't marry him for five. She's making up bullshit reasons for why I owe her large amounts of money. She keeps waking me up when I'm sleeping to complain, etc. She's gone completely unhinged, and I've been avoiding her by hiding at my BFs for now. She keeps sending me passive-aggressive texts about how I've abandoned her and is guilt-tripping me. All my stuff is still there so I can't avoid her forever. Just what the hell is happening? I'm assuming this isn't fixable, but I'm at a complete loss at what I should do. Help, please. Share your suggestion in the comments below. I, 33 male, broke up with my GF, 35 female, because we had lifestyle differences. Was it the right decision? Two years after separating from my ex-wife, I thought I could start my first serious relationship with a very thoughtful and wonderful woman. 
It was also her first relationship in two years, the last one ended poorly. We dated for three months and I felt like our relationship was going very well. She's funny and understanding of the issues I've had with my ex-wife, emotionally abusive and a bit manipulative, in the past. We've had such a great time these last couple of months. Every day with her was laughter. We both love animals, and learning about them. We enjoyed smoking weed together. We loved cooking and trying new foods. I really enjoyed showing her around the city that she moved to. We saw eye to eye on a lot of personal, political, sociological, and financial issues. Conversation with her was easier than it's been with anyone in a while. Yesterday after a date, I told her that I don't see how we could make a long-term relationship work because we have some lifestyle differences. Even though we both love animals and we both have dogs that are our world, her small dog couldn't meet my husky because her dog gets really aggressive with others. Even worse that I also have a cat, her dogs hate cats. I didn't see an opportunity for us to live together in the long run. She's from the North USA and moved down south during the lockdown. I am from the South USA. She is not a fan of the heat and I can easily tolerate it. I love being outside and this summer has been a scorcher. So we made the concession that we mostly do indoor things. Over time, I felt like I was stuck to being inside. She gets a lot of headaches that are triggered by the heat from loud sounds, cat dander, and certain foods. I have no problem accommodating someone I really like, truly. But it was a big part of my marriage and I've had to learn my own boundaries. Her headaches that are triggered by loud sounds were a relationship concern because I'm really close with a group of friends, they're like my family. Everyone got along, but after three hours she had to leave because our loudness was creating a headache. Unfortunately, when we get together, we're just a group of loud nerds that like to joke around. I enjoy concerts and listening to loud music to dance to. I didn't see how that could work too. I really enjoy watching popular TV shows, movies and I'm video games, but she didn't really have an interest in those, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, etc. It made some jokes or references require an explanation. Otherwise, she loves comedy and we would watch comedies or joke around together. Throughout our breakup talk, she was so sad because she didn't feel like these issues were so bad that compromise couldn't fix. I couldn't stop crying and apologizing that I wish I could feel different. I know that I would put myself in uncomfortable situations just to make sure she would be okay and happy, but that's another one of my issues. We ended the conversation with me leaving her place and she said, don't let anyone tell you you're not amazing. Now I feel like I'm overcorrecting by leaving a relationship that was quite healthy, but I felt like it was starting to show the signs of falling through in the long run. Do you think I'm making mountains out of molehills? Do I have a chance of at least being friends down the line? If so, what could that even look like? TLDR, I ended a prospective incredible relationship because I am afraid of repeating the past and I don't know if I made the right choice. Update I can't express how much I appreciate the perspective everyone has given me. I reached out this morning and apologized for letting my own issues and past trauma stops me from realizing all the good that we had and all the good that could happen. I had a problem with overcompromising in my past relationship and gave up so much of myself for someone who didn't want me for years. I thought I moved past my issues, but obviously not, and I plan to take up therapy again. I care for her deeply and was afraid. She appreciates my honesty, and we are back together. Share your suggestion in the comments below.